Hello, welcome back to the set theory class. Um, if you've been following us, you'll notice we've solved and um, we've explained the set theory. We discussed the um, properties of um, a set. We discussed the complement, the um, we talked about the complement, the intersection, and the union. And we also solved a couple of questions. And um, we've also treated the Venn diagram, the two and the three circles. So if you actually missed any of these, you can go back to the previous videos. Um, you're going to see it down on the link where to go and get it. But now we are going to be solving approximately 10 questions on set. So if you stay with us to the end, you're going to learn more questions on set. Now, question one says 24 people go on holidays. If 15 go swimming, 12 go fishing and 6 do neither. How many go swimming and fishing? Draw a Venn diagram and fill in the number of people in all four regions. Okay. So, um, I want to represent my information on a Venn diagram. Okay. So, uh, first of all, let's um, put out our parameter. So, it said total. So, the universal set is going to be 24. So, it says swimming. I'll connect swimming with S. That's 15. And um, 12 go fishing. Fishing is going to be 12. And 6 do none. So, 6 is... Um, I will say 6 do none. None is 6. Either way. And how many go fishing and swimming? So, that's swimming and fishing. That's swimming intersection fish, um, fishing. We don't know that yet. So, let's draw a Venn diagram to get this. Okay? So, I will draw my rectangle. So, this is my first circle. And this is my second circle. Now, this is going to be my swimming. Now, this is going to be my fishing. Now, remember, um, we said where you have X intersection F. So, we're going to call this X. So, these are the number of people that go for both swimming and fishing. Now, I want us to establish a particular fact. You know, the question said, um, okay, um, let's represent six goes for none. So we need to represent that. So this is for six. They go for none. So they are neither in fishing nor in swimming. Okay, now. Some people are going to make the mistake of writing 15 here. So that's wrong. Because among the 15 people that go swimming, some of them are in this X that go for fishing. So some of them are still... The swimming is made up of people who go for both swimming and fishing. Swimming only and swimming and fishing. So that means... Instead of writing 15 here, I'll put 15 minus x. Where 15 minus x is actually the number of people that do swimming only. So fishing will now be, this will be 12 minus x. So to get the total number of people who actually do this, that will help us find our x. So this will now be, total will be um, swimming only plus fishing only, plus swimming and fishing, plus none. So that will give us the total. And remember, our total, our U, it's um, 24. That's the universal set. So this is going to be 24 is equal to swimming only is now 15 minus X plus fishing only. It's going to be 12 minus X plus swimming and fishing will be x then plus 6 so when we simplify this we are going to get our x so this is going to be 24 is equal to so we'll have 15 plus 12 and that will give us 27 27 plus 6 is going to be 33 so this will be 33 now we have our minus x minus x plus x so the minus x plus x is 0 so we have 33 minus x so this will be um this is going to be X coming over will be X will be equal to 33 minus 24 when you collect your like terms. Therefore, our X is going to be 9. Okay, so from here, we can ascertain that um, the number of people who go for both swimming and fishing is 9. So, now the question says, draw a Venn diagram to fill in the number of people in all four regions. So, my real Venn diagram is now going to be when I take out my X and represent it fully, it's going to be, so I'll draw my circle back again. So this is going to be 9. 
15 minus 9 is now going to be 6. 12 minus 9 will now be 3. These are the actual number of people. So this will be 6. Now let's test this. For you to guarantee, uh, know that you got the actual um, answer, sum it up. That's 6 plus 9. That will give you 15. 15 plus 3 is going to give us um, 18. 18 plus 6 gives us our universal set, which is 24. So this shows you that the answer is correct. Okay, so the next one says, um, how many go fishing and swimming? So um, to get the number of people who go for fishing and swimming will be our X, which we have already found. So fishing, intercession, swimming, it's X, which is now nine people. So I think everything in this question is solved. So if you treat this question this way, then you will get it right. Okay. So we will be going over to the next question. Three. Now question three says, if P is equal to prime factors of 210 and Q is equal to prime number less than 10, find P intersection Q. Now notice this is a multi-choice question. So our answer lies in between A, B, C, and D. Okay. So, um... Now, prime factors of 210, so for us to find the prime factors, we need to find that. So, we're going to divide um, 210 by its prime factors. 210 here, we'll, we're going to have um, 105. 3 can now go. 2 can go any longer. So, 3 into 105 is going to give us 35. Um, 5 can now go. 5 into 35 will give us um, 7. 7 can now divide. This is 1. So, 210 is equal to 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. So that means our P, our P will be prime factors of 210, which are 2, 3, 5, and 7. Okay? While our Q, it's going to be uh, prime numbers less than 10. So we have 2 is a prime number, um, 3 is a prime number less than 10, 5 is a prime number less than 10, and 7. Wow! So our P and Q are the same. So it says P intersection Q. Remember when we talked about intersection, we said things that are common to both P and common to Q. So since all the elements are repeating themselves, our final answer is going to be 2, 3, 5, and 7. So this is the final answer. So our correct answer here is D. So D, it's our correct answer. And that will take us to the next question, which says, 